Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Federal Judge Jay Zaney, and I have the honor and distinction of swearing in as a United States citizen, my very dear friend, Father Raymond. I've known you for how many years? And I still can't pronounce your last name. Ibujidi? <laughs> you can't pronounce it either. And uh, it's just so gratifying, uh, Father and Archbishop, to see how many people are here on this special occasion. I also want to thank you on behalf of my colleagues, federal judges for the Eastern District of, of Louisiana. And I see one of our colleagues, uh, Judge Wendy Vitter. Judge Vitter, will you stand, please? Okay. I am going to ask that you uh, stand, and we will have presented the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Honor Guard. I will then ask that you remain standing for the National Anthem, the Pledge of Allegiance, and then Archbishop's Invocation. Thank you very much, and please remain standing. K. Jude Caduso will step forward and sing our national anthem. Please remain standing, and Sheriff Joe Lapinto is going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I want to tell you, uh, Sheriff Lapinto has been in, uh, out of state all week, and he came in early just to be here with us this evening. We're very honored, Sheriff. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Archbishop Amen will now lead us with the invocation.
good evening. First of all, it's not only an honor and a privilege to be here, but it's also inspirational to see the number of people who are here for this naturalization ceremony and swearing in. So thank you for being here, and thank you for the support and love that you give to Father Raymond. He is a great priest, and we very much appreciate his service. We begin our prayer, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pause to remember for a moment that we're in God's presence. Loving and faithful God, you are the God of all nations and all peoples. Today as we gather, we ask your blessings upon all those people who are citizens of the United States. Help us always to preserve the religious freedom that you give us as gift. May all of us as citizens appreciate the many gifts that you have given to us individually and as a nation. May we use them for others in our country and beyond. Today, in a particular way, Lord God, we ask your blessings upon Father Raymond as he becomes a citizen of our country. We value him, his faith, his ministry, his many gifts. We thank you for sending him to us. May his citizenship strengthen our commitment to the ideals of the United States and help all of us to be faith-filled and courageous citizens of the land of the free and the home of the brave. And we ask this as we ask all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm not gonna tell you who said this, but in a few minutes you're gonna have to start paying taxes. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna throw a, one of your parishioners under the bus but I heard him make that statement, and I just have to, the Archbishop's here, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna say who it is, I'm not even gonna point in that direction. <laughs> Wrong jokes, but we're very happy that you're gonna be here and do that for us. Uh, I'd like to introduce now, oh, please have a seat, everybody. I am gonna introduce you to a celebrity right now, but uh, he would rather you be seated. I'd like to introduce you to a very dear friend of mine who's uh, Chief Assistant United States Attorney, Michael Simpson, and Michael is the Attorney General's designee and is gonna say a few words welcoming uh, Father Raymond into our country. Ladies and gentlemen, I am I feel like I'm lucky, very blessed to be here right now and not having been stricken by a triple storm of electricity from above confessed to being an Episcopalian. I was scared to death that somehow I'd be asked to do a Catholic prayer and I wouldn't know how to stand, sit, kneel, what signs I'd have to make because it's, um, in Catholic light, it's, the tests aren't as difficult, okay? Uh, you can just kind of wing it and God will forgive you. So this is the very, very proof that God is loving and forgiving and takes care of idiots and children. So um, I, I am so honored and delighted to be here because I think what Father Raymond represents to me is exactly what America was, is, and should be about. It is someone who didn't come in the easy way like I did, did through my mother on a <laughs> small bungalow, you know, in New Orleans. Um, easy way, no tests, no obligations. I didn't have to learn things like you have to learn. If I had to go through the citizenship test, I would have been cheated on. <laughs> that would have been a test of your Christianity right there. <laughs> Can I have the answers to number one through 50, please? Um, but citizenship, I think, is the most incredible thing because of the way this nation was founded, those that fought and bled and died for it. It means so much, and it's so easy for folks like me to take it for granted. This reminds me never to take it for granted. We have been blessed with someone of your character, of your decency, of your humanity to be a part of this nation. And the reason I know that is just from a very, very brief meeting with you at another citizenship ceremony in which I could be a, a lot more relaxed than I am now. This is formal. You folks are serious. I, I can tell 
Um, but your kindness shone right through you, right through your eyes, which is a beacon for everything. The other thing is known in the law as corroborating evidence. That's because my dear friend, Jay Sandy, Fred Sandy, said you are one of the most remarkable human beings he's ever met. There is no puffery or false exaggeration there. He extolled your virtues. I asked him to extol mine, but there was utter silence. <laughs> and then he said, well, we're friends. And I said, okay, great, yeah. So, they, so there's nothing to say, is that it? <coughs> anyway, you are a gift to our nation. And I am so honored to just be a brief part of this. I salute you for what you've gone through. I salute you for bringing the Lord to more and more people in this hallowed institution. And I thank all of you, you people, for giving the very, very reprobate uh, Episcopalians a chance to address you. And I ask your forgiveness. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're the best. I love you. Love you. He forgot to tell you he has a trial before me next week. So he's kissing. <laughs> he's kissing up to all of you. And thank you very much. We're going to take a vote after Mr. Simpson to see if you should win or lose. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm going to ask now uh, Father Frank Candelosi, who you all know who uh, was the predecessor uh, before <laughs> Father Raymond. <laughs> and I'm also going to invite uh, God's special children who are with us to step forward as well. Uh, and Dan, if you'll help, and Bob, if you'll help get some of our folks here. Uh, for the past number of years, uh, I guess since Father Raymond's been here, Father Raymond has concelebrated the Mass for God's special children, their families and their friends. Actually, the next one is tomorrow, 2 o'clock, St. Francis, if you uh, would like to be double blessed. But Father, uh, Father Frank, uh, when Father Frank was pastor here, Father, uh, came, um, Father Frank came all the time. And then when Father Raymond arrived, Father Raymond came as well. Okay, Kristen's, Caroline, Caroline's here. Uh, Chuck, where's Chuck? Come on up, Chuck. I shouldn't say up, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck, come on up. And while I administer the oath, y'all have your flag? Good. And while I administer uh, the oath to uh, Father Raymond, Father Frank has my family Bible. Uh, my forefathers were from uh, Beirut, Lebanon. And this is a family Bible that has come here from, from Lebanon. So uh, this is a special meaning for all of us. All right, I tell you what, let me get on this side. Photographer, my brother. The Clarion Herald, by the way, wanted the pictures taken because there should be an article uh, about Father Raymond's naturalization ceremony in an upcoming issue. And Father, I ask that you uh, raise your right hand, your left hand on the Bible. Okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Push your left hand like me. And please repeat after me. I hereby declare on oath. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure, renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity, all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, to any foreign prince, potentate, potentate, state, state or sovereignty, or sovereignty of whom or which, of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. I have heretofore been a subject or citizen that I will support and defend that I would support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America. The Constitution and the laws of the United States of America. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I will bear arms. That I would bear arms on behalf of the United States. On behalf of the United States. When required by the law. When required by the law. 
that I will perform non-combatant service. That I will perform non-combatant service. You said that word better than me. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> in the armed forces of the United States. And the armed forces of the United States. When required by the law. When required by the law. That I will perform work of national importance. That I will perform work of national importance. Under civilian direction. Under civilian direction. When required by the law. When required by the law. And that I take this obligation freely. And I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of invasion. So help me God. So help me God. Father Raymond is a United States citizen. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, you did a great job holding the Bible, not dropping it. I'm <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> I'm just going to make a few concluding remarks. And uh, please join us. Uh, the St. Christopher Men's Club is having a reception for Father Raymond immediately after mm -hmm. this ceremony in the school cafeteria, I believe, right next door. In the gym, right next door, sorry. Actually, I was in kindergarten here. The parish center. He's already bossing me around, but he doesn't understand. He doesn't vote for me. I have my job for life, you see. So, so I don't have to listen to him. But then again, he is a man of God, so I will listen very closely to him as well. Father Raymond, this is a very important day in your life and in the life of your new country. For today, you have become a citizen of the United States. And as Assistant United States Attorney uh, Michael Simpson said, we had it easy. We were born into this. You chose it. It was chosen for us, but you chose it. And we are definitely and deeply grateful for that. In fact, not only is this an important day for you, this is an important day in all of our lives as we welcome you as our fellow citizen. Now, may I remind you that a nation is only as strong or as weak as its citizens. So whenever a nation acquires new citizens, it must hope that it will, make, that it will be made stronger and not weaker. I want to assure you that all of the rights and privileges that have made this country great are now your rights and now your privileges. We have no second-class citizens in our country. We are all equal before the law and equal before our God. I urge you to cherish the dignity which America accords to you and to all of its citizens, men and women, and to keep always in your mind the indisputable truth that if we, as Americans, do not strive to see that freedom is protected and defended, then what we know to be freedom will be surely lost forever. I further urge you, I further urge you to willingly assume the duties that come to you with the rights and privileges of your new citizenship. You must make yourself a part of the fabric of the American way of life. And those of you who know you know that you have already done that. And I had the honor of uh, arranging with uh, Father Raymond already, who was so anxious uh, uh, to his right to vote that he's already uh, met with the Registrar of Voters Office and uh, he now has a right to vote. Sheriff Lapinto will be glad to hear that, whoever he is. He left early. Mm -hmm. He's early? Oh, sorry, Sheriff. Sorry. <laughs> Just checking on you. Just checking on you. Now, I can't politic, but uh, his presence means a great deal to all of us here, right? All right. You must make yourself a part of the fabric of the American way of life, as I said. But that is not enough. You must encourage your neighbor to also vote. And I have to tell you one thing. Uh, Judge Vitter and I have the honor, and, and actually one of the favorite parts of our job, and I know that I'm speaking for her as well, is to be able to swear in uh, new citizens to our country. And I know I, and I assume that Judge Vitter, in talking to the new citizens after, ask them why we're honored that you would be a member of our country now as a citizen. Why? The first 
I assure you, is the right to vote. The right to vote. And the second reason, of course, is the freedom of speech, to be able to speak. And that by far the two main reasons why people become United States citizens. And not only do we ask that you vote, but you encourage your neighbors to vote as well. You must also willingly assume the responsibility of serving as a grand or petit juror when called to serve. You know, I don't want to get a phone call from you and say, get me out of jury duty, all right? I've had other priests do that, but, uh, but the Archbishop serves, by the way, so, all right. In addition, history shows that we fought valiantly to become free, and now we all must continually strive and work to remain free. Finally, I commend you to the task of citizenship and offer you my sincerest congratulations and best wishes. As I told you and everybody earlier, my uh, grandfather, uh, all four of my grandparents came from Beirut, Lebanon. My grandfather, Zaini, was actually the first a Lebanese lawyer in the United States. And um, he was close to the famous prophet Khalil Gibran. And Khalil Gibran said in 1926, and I quote, I believe that it is in you to be a good citizen. And what is it to be a good citizen? It is to acknowledge the other person's rights before asserting your own, but always to be conscious of your own rights. It is to be free in thought and in deed but it is also to know that your freedom is subject to the other person's freedom. It is to create the useful and the beautiful with your own hands and to admire what others have created in love and with faith. It sure sounds like our religion, doesn't it? It really does. It is to be proud of being an American. And so in the years to come, it is my hope that you will come to know and experience the real meaning of these words in your quest for happiness, for dignity, for freedom and for self-respect, and good luck to you. And I want to add something. Uh, I was reviewing some uh, old paperwork that I had when I heard that this Father Raymond uh, was going to join us at our God Special Children's Mass. And it's very brief, but in reading your very first bulletin for St. Christopher's when you came here eight years ago, you stated in your very first message, thanking your parishioners and you quoted the Gospel of St. Matthew. You stated, and I teared up, I have to be honest with you when I read it, I was a stranger and you welcomed me. He said this to all of you eight years ago. Well, I want to tell you today, we all thank you for welcoming us into your life and by honoring us by becoming a fellow United States citizen. God bless you and welcome. I'm aware the Archbishop has a ceremony to attend to very soon, so I wouldn't take your time. But just to express my gratitude, you know, first to God for making this possible, and then to all of you for welcoming me to the Archdiocese of New Orleans, specifically to Archbishop Amond. Thank you very much, and I cannot thank you enough for the support that I have received from you in carrying out my ministry here in the Archdiocese. You are very supportive, and if today I do well at all, it is because of the support you know, that we get from you. And I also want to thank Father Frank, who was the pastor when I arrived, who welcomed me. And thanks to all of you, there is no doubt I have experienced true love. And today, as we celebrate Trinity weekend, you know, it is a great expression of what the Blessed Trinity is. That is what you have expressed to me here in St. Christopher. And I want to thank George Zeni for finding the time to come and carry out this ceremony. And thanks to all his family and friends, I have become part of the Zeni brothers here in the United States. And we have a ceremony once in a month of going for lunch, you know, along with Father Frank. For some time now, Father Frank is not able to go, but we take a go box with him, with us to give to him. And the most expensive dish, I might add. <laughs> 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 uh, 
and, and I want to thank uh, George Wendy Vida. You know, the whole process began with her. And I remember when I first discussed with her, she said, OK, I will ask the Archbishop whether he would be willing to sponsor you. And the Archbishop did. That is why we have this ceremony today. So Miss Wendy, thank you very much, George, for beginning this whole process. And special thanks to our Sharif, Julie Pinto, for, for <laughs> I tease him that I share his mother with him because the mother is parishioner here, and she is very kind to us in the rectory as well. And I want to specifically thank my classmate, uh, very Reverend Father Michael Oyenwa, for visiting from Nigeria. He scheduled his vacation so that he can be part of this ceremony today. So, <laughs> Father Mike, you, you are very welcome. So once again, thank you all. You can't really see my heart, but if you do, you would know how grateful I am to all of you. And may God continue to bless and protect us through Christ our Lord. Amen. So after now, we will proceed to the parish center, and I would ask the Archbishop to give us a blessing before we depart from here. Let us pray. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May he bring you peace and hope. May he bless our country, and may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and all those whom you hold deep in your hearts. Amen. Amen. Thank you. It's great to be with you. Congratulations to Father Raymond. Thank you. I'll see you later.